Well guys, how's it going? <laughs> yep. Um, it's been a little while. Um, just been busy and just haven't felt like been making videos. So this this video here is just kind of let you guys know I'm still alive, I'm doing well, and everything. Kind of. I don't know. I got a little project I'm working on tonight. Sometimes I get things in my mind and uh, things I want to do and just take a few minutes sometimes to do that because, well, you feel intrigued to do something and and uh, I figured I guys should do that once in a while. It's not always uh, concentrate on the work every day is the let your mind have a little fun once in a while and make things or do something different and I don't have much time to ever do that around here but I'm making something and I'm going to show you what I'm going to make it's uh, something with chainsaws uh, this chainsaw here is actually my dad's chainsaw he left it here after he sold the farm it was broken and needed some fixing and I actually I could have made a video on repairing that but I didn't but She's up and running and works good. Put a new bar on it. Uh, there's some other things to it, but she's working man. So it's winter time. Cut a lot of wood. I got two wood burning outdoor wood burning stoves to heat the house and the shop. So <laughs> always messing around with uh, stuff. So I'll show you what I am, have conjured up in my small mind, and, and I'll uh, show you this in a bit what I'm doing. Steel chainsaws. I'm pretty sure they're much all the same, but all my steel steel chainsaws are the same. The tools that you need you need a three quarter inch socket. You need a flathead, and there's this little uh, X head style socket. Excuse me, burped. Uh, that fits all the screws that take your chainsaw apart. If you're out in the sticks or in the woods or screws like this or down there like that. <clears throat> I always wanted to have a smaller tool I could throw in my pocket. And uh, I was thinking about that tonight and I was like, why don't I just do that once? So. We had a shop, wool shop burned down years ago, so we, we have a, a toolbox that's got all the old, dedicated old sockets and pieces of steel that are chunks of tools or this and that or miscellaneous crap. And they're laying around and I was digging in there tonight for a little bit. This is just a piece of square stock used for uh, keyway. I'll show you how what I'm going to do with that. I'm gonna put that in there. All right. Then I put that on the end of there. I'm gonna put that there. See how big that is? I can put that in my pocket. Yes, yeah, my probably not the most comfortable thing you have in your pocket, but huh, ain't the first time I'm used to carrying wrenches around in my pockets and this and that. So I'm gonna make. A tool for everything on the chainsaw that I can just quick have in the shed and always you know be able to grab and throw in my pocket so these are all fire sockets so your fire screwdriver went through a fire chop completely burnt it down everything was a disaster so here's the goal so I'm gonna weld this up to make my tool it's gonna be crude but it's gonna be functional that's what I want so <laughs> all right well we're gonna fire up the old tombstone Lincoln Miller and buzz this shit together quick and 
we'll show you the finished product. There it is. <laughs> Ain't perfect. Far from that. So am I. Down this shoulder down here a little bit. To help it get into the little farther, deeper in spaces, but. Works. Sorry, I'm looking at the phone doing this also. Get it. There we go. Fits nicely in there. You got a little room to play. And it fits in my pocket. The reason why I use the square stock or the. so I'd have a better grip of it. Or tightening. More leverage. I thought about welding in this, this, to that, but I was like, ah, that's still going to be big enough and small enough to use. So, I don't know. I guess if you dream up something, make it. I don't know. Crude, but uh, very useful. <laughs> Yes, the welds ain't perfect. It's an arc welder. If I had a wire feed, yeah, I probably could do a lot better job. But I don't care. Use what you got. There you go. There's a little tidbit of what a guy can do. Not much, but now I have a tool, and if I never, if I don't lose it, I can use it the rest of my life. Just for my chainsaws. Perfect. All right. Well. Yeah, it hasn't got very far, and Tyler's been doing a little work on the old two-point here. He's got her all tore down. And <clears throat> pretty impressed. He got her tore apart, so he's gonna he's gonna be a gonna be a mechanic someday. Who knows? <laughs> well, at least he's uh, trying. So impressed with that. He's trying to get new. He got new seals. This was leaking oil, so he wants to make it so it's pretty close to brand new so when we get around to putting it all back together and painting it up so. yeah so not much same old shit different day chores and hauling shit and dealing with the weather so yeah all right well guys thanks for watching i know it's a quick short one but it's something so <laughs> hope everybody's doing all right out there in this crazy world and crazy thing we're dealing with nowadays and uh, thanks for watching and sorry for not putting out any videos but it is what it is so well we'll see you 